this model that you've got is interesting, sort of a platform that allows experts from Arctic Wolf to really get hands-on and help manage a customer's existing security system. Why is this a particularly potent pitch at this time? Well, two reasons. The threat environment is as bad as I've ever seen it. So it's, you know, people are frightened, they're concerned. We read on the news. You guys talk about it all the time. So there's a real big problem there. The other aspect is there's a talent shortage. People can't find the people to do this work. So combined with the problem, we're able to deliver a solution that uh, helps them address some of that technical deficiency as well as the talent needs that they have. Now, Brian, given the particular challenges we're seeing right now, ransomware is top of mind. How does a model like Arctic Wolf's come to bear? Are you able to get in with experts and sort of audit more quickly the weaknesses in an organization and, uh, and act uh, based on that without bringing in new software or new equipment? Or w what's the model that's relevant to what we see right now? We, we work pretty much with whatever the customer has in place. So they're trying to address their risk. They're trying to understand what's, what's taking place in that environment and will work no matter what they've got going in that environment. What we offer to the customer is an enterprise class, world-class security operations capability. And so we leverage our TAC platform and we enable any organization of any size basically to operate as if they're a world-class organization. Brian, talk about the decision to raise money in the private markets, 150 million in a Series F funding versus the idea of going public when I'm sure you guys could use the publicity and the marketing. Why did you decide to go this route? Well, one, because we could. I, I think, you know, we're raising money. We needed a war chest. We're very acquisitive in what we're doing. We see opportunities to build on the tech stack that we've already started and add new capabilities for our customers, and we thought we could exploit that. Uh, I would say, more importantly, we don't have a challenge getting to people seeing the opportunity that we're delivering to them. So that there's so much fear in the marketplace. People are looking for answers about how can they manage this cyber risk? How can they not be the next person on the front page of the news? And and so, uh, you know, we don't have a challenge getting to the market. So the publicity dynamic is not needed. We're on the road to going public. So it's definitely on the horizon here and coming. I've run a public company previously at Blue Coat. So we have an understanding of what it takes to be there. And, and we're well on that path. Uh, but we're, we have plenty of opportunity we're chasing now.